Hi, thanks for joining me today. Let's get a little workout going and I'm gonna focus on making sure that your knees are happy. Stretching, strengthening, pretty much all over, all body, but with a lot of focus on helping your knees stay happy and healthy. Let's go. So let's sit down on our rears, on our mats, and my roller is not too far away. So make sure you have that. Put, it on, put this on pause if you need to go dig it out of the closet or wherever it should be. We're gonna use it. It's gonna get some attention today. Let's start by lying all the way down on your back. Oh, it feels good just to be lying down for a minute. Knees are bent, feet are hip width apart, arms are down by your side. Just to start, I want you to inhale, shrug your shoulders up to your ears, and then exhale, all the air out of your lungs, reach those arms and those fingers down towards your feet. Press your arms into the mat. We're getting moving right away. Inhale into your rib cage. On the exhale, rock your hips, pull your lower back down to the mat, peel and curl and lift those hips all the way up to the ceiling. Keep those arms pressing into the mat, chest and shoulders are open, heads reaching long in one direction, and you have pressure on your big toe, your little toe, and your heel. Inhale here at the top, and exhale, articulate down, taking your time, making sure your back and your spine Get all the chance to move with individual movements through your vertebrae there. Uncurl your tailbone at the bottom. Inhale. On the exhale, rock your hips. Peel and curl all the way up to the top, opening the front side of your body there. Keep those hips really tucked, rib cages tucked in. Reach your knees to the other side of the room and you'll feel your hamstrings kick in and that's where I want you to be. Inhale. On the exhale, coming all the way down, reaching your head long in one direction. Spine reaches farther down the mat with each vertebra that comes down, uncurling completely at the bottom. Inhale. On the exhale, rock your hips, peel and curl all the way up. Hold at the top. Inhale. And exhale, articulate all the way down. Hold it here at the bottom. From here, right leg comes into tabletop. And then left leg floats up to tabletop. Tap that right toe down to the mat. Exhale, pulls it right back up. And left toe taps down, bring it up. My knee is staying at 90 degrees, which means yours should too. And you're hinging from your hips. Rib cage is staying down. I want you really driving with those abdominals. So I am gonna put some focus on keeping your knees happy and healthy today, but having a strong core is gonna really help overall, no matter what you got going on. So we're doing this. Let's hold those legs up into tabletop, head, neck, and chest. Lifts up off the mat, grab the backs of your legs. Look over your right shoulder, look over your left shoulder. Come back to the middle. Arms and legs reach in opposite directions. Go long and hold it there for just a nanosecond, and then pull it right back in. Inhale as you reach long, and bring it right back in and reach and bring it in. I want energy out your fingers, energy out your toes, nice long legs reaching, pull it back in. Keeping that chest lifted, abs are staying engaged, they don't get to float up toward the ceiling. Let's do two more. One more time. Hold it here, both hands go on that right leg, extend your left. I'm actually gonna change your hands, I want it in front of your knee. And I want you to push your knee away as you pull it in, kind of oppositional forces there. And switch, and switch, and switch. And that push and pull really helps connect right into those abdominal muscles. Turns them on, makes them say, hello. Keep those legs going, interlace your hands behind your head, give your neck a break. I want you looking up at the ceiling and then from here, add a rotation with that upper body toward that opposite knee, cross and cross and cross and cross. Nice and steady, abs are working right from the get go. Let's do four more and three and two. One more time, each side, come back to the middle, head comes down, hug your knees into your chest, and we're just gonna rock side to side. Give your back a little massage as you rock side to side. And then from here, right leg goes long on the mat. Left leg goes long on the mat. Feel the length in your body. Head's going in one direction, toes and legs and 
feet are going the other direction. Feet together, knees together. Hands float up to the ceiling. Inhale, head, neck, and chest lifts up off the mat. Press into that lower back and slowly roll it up. Belly button stays pulled back behind you. Hold at the top, shoulders are out of your ears, and roll it right back and down with beautiful control so that we make it the most fun possible, right? It's probably my version of fun, maybe not yours, but who knows, you could have fun too. I love this, it feels good. And come right back and down. Nice and steady, those legs are squeezed together. Press that lower back into the mat. And then come halfway back from here. I want you just to hold it right in this little no man's land. We're gonna go even farther into no man's land. You're gonna take it down for a count of two, and you're gonna lift up one. Take it down for a count of two, and lift up one. Take it down two, kind of ratcheting down, lift up one, and come all the way down. Oh, hello. Inhale, head, neck, and chest lifts up off the mat, sitting all the way up. If you need to bend your knees to give yourself a little modification, please do. And come halfway back. We're ratcheting ourselves right back down again. Take it down for two. Lift up just one. Take it down for two. Lift just up one. Take it down for two. Lift up one and come all the way down. Lucky for us, we're doing that one more time. Sitting all the way up. Woohoo! No joke here. Come halfway back. Shoulders and chest are open. And from here, take it down for two. And lift up one. Take it down for two. Lift up one. You can do this. Take it down for two. Lift up one. Coming all the way down. Whew. Bring that left leg into tabletop. Grab a hold of that knee with your opposite hand. Cross it over your body. Let yourself just exhale into that twist. Reach that left arm out. And then if you would like to add a little more to this, stay here if you're happy here. If you would like to bend that right leg behind you, grab that foot and add a little squeeze of your glutes and you'll get a real nice stretch across the front of your right hip. And just enjoy being a little pretzel. It's the name of the game for this one. And exhale no matter where you are, if that leg is being grabbed or not. Concentrate on a good exhale. On the next exhale, I'm gonna have you pull that, release that foot, pull that leg back to center, send that left leg out long, right leg comes up to tabletop, grab a hold of that knee with your opposite hand, cross it over your body. And again, reach that right arm out in the opposite directions. I get to look at my little wild horses. Hello, wild horses. If you want to stay here, stay here. If you would like to grab that bottom foot, bend that left knee, grab that foot, and then give a little squeeze of your glutes, and you'll feel that stretch really go down the front of your hip flexor on the left side. Once again, just find your inner pretzel and be there. All right, on the next exhale, release that foot. Slowly bring that leg back to the center. Right leg is in tabletop, left leg is in tabletop. Head, neck, and chest lifts up off the mat. Grab the backs of your legs, press your legs into your hands, slowly making your way onto your hands and knees. Hands are gonna be right underneath your shoulders. Knees are right underneath your hips to start. Tuck your tail, look into your belly button, and then uncurl and tuck your tail, and uncurl, and tuck, and uncurl. One more time, tuck, find that good cat, and extend into that good cow, and then come back to the middle. From here, I want you to take your right leg, or reach it right out behind you, and I want you just to give me a lift, 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 lift and lift. I want you to have more weight on your right knee than on your hands so that you're really loading that left hip and that right hip is becoming a little worker bee right here. So nice strong abs, strong hips always support your knees. So this is definitely going to be one layer of making sure your knees stay happy. 
Hold it here. Bring that leg out to the side. It's going to lower and lift. And lift. And lift. And lift. Lift. Once again, there's more weight on that left hip than the right hip. And now we're going to combine both of those. We're going to bring that leg up. Come around. Tap it behind you. Bring it out to the side and tap. Bring it up and out behind you and bring it around. Get that full range of motion. See where you can take it. Find your inner ballerina. Get that leg moving. And reach. Side and back and side and back. One more time. Side and back. Why not just make it more fun right now? Flex that foot. Bend your knee and press straight up to the ceiling. Press. Press. Double check where your weight is. I don't want it all on your arms. Push back into that left hip. Press and press and press. Belly button's pulled in. It doesn't get to hang out the front. Taking five and four, three, two, last one. Put that knee down, knees together, and just sit back on your feet for a rest. Literally just a quick rest. Coming right back up onto your hands and knees. Knees are hip width apart. Weights pushed ever so slightly backwards into that right hip. Left leg extends out, and we're gonna lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. Put some energy into that leg. So really getting that lift. I've, my head's going in one direction, shoulders are out of your ears, belly button's pulled up, and my leg is not just a soggy bowl of oatmeal getting flailed around behind me. Really reach it long and behind you and lift, 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 lift. Three, two, one, hold. Take it out to the side and drop and lift, and lift, and lift. Ever so slightly too close to my horses. So I'm moving and lift, and lift. Whew, this one feels like it's getting tired faster than the other side. And lift, and lift. And lift, push back into that right hip. Don't let your arms do it all. And then let's take it all the way across our body. Lift and hold, cross it behind you. Tap the ground, bring it up and back out to the side. And up and cross it behind you and tap and up and tap and tap and tap. It's about this time where you just have to go to your happy place. Let's do two more just like this. One more time. Hold it up, flex, bend that knee, flex that foot, and it goes straight up to the ceiling. Press, press, and press, press, and press. So I want you to notice that you're still, even though that left one's doing work, that right hip is nice and loaded, and even though it's not moving, it's still working. Your abs should be kind of similar. Belly button's pulled to your spine. Spine to your belly button. Four, three, two, Last one, knees come together. You can separate those knees if you'd like. Toes are together and sit back on those feet for a breath. Don't get too comfortable. We're moving on pretty quick here. Sorry. Slowly rolling all the way up to a seated position. Grab your roller, which should be close at hand. I'm just going to put it across my mat. I feel very matching with my roller today. How about them apples? All right, I want you to put that roller right below that hip bone. It's your greater trochanter. I want it below that. Bottom leg is straight, top leg is bent. And I want you to nice and slow roll down towards that knee and then right back up towards that hip. If this does not cause too much pain, if it does, put weight on that foot. Take some of the pressure of gravity pulling you down onto that roller. So find that pressure that's good for you. If you need one a little more, you can bring that leg on top. It's always nice. Nice and slow and steady. If this hurts, that means you need to be doing it. So just put this video on repeat, see what happens. I will be working on a, a little 30-day video rolling challenge, but I haven't quite gotten there yet. We're working on it, working on it, working on it. All right, from here, I want you to angle your top hip forward. I'm bringing my foot back down because this seems to get me. So I'm just ever so slightly at a 45, and now I'm rolling 
kind of on the corner of my thigh. All these muscles, if they're tight, sore, underdeveloped, overdeveloped, if they're not in balance, they can yank and pull at your knee in a very uncomfortable way. So we're just gonna work our way around here and see what we can loosen up. All right, come back to the side, and then I'm gonna have you bring the roller up to right where that, that crease is, where your leg and your hip come together. And then I'm gonna have you roll top hip forward, and then back, and forward, and back. And you can move around to where a spot, if it, find a spot that really speaks to you, stay there, give it a little attention, breathe into it. If it's totally painful and you're cursing me right now, take a break. I'm not here to beat you up. This is to make you feel better, not worse. And if you curse me a little bit, that's okay. I can't hear you. <sighs> and then from here, roll right onto the front of your thighs. I'm on my elbows. And I'm just gonna nice and steady roll down towards my knees. And back up. Taking your time. You want to go nice and slow. So it's not about zipping through it. This is, I want you to just go into a little Zen meditation here. Have some good exhales. And just enjoy a little bit of quiet rolling, which is just as important as all the hardcore working out, whatever it is you're doing for your workouts. Let's keep going. I'm moving on to my right side. I'm kind of below that big bony hip bone, my greater trochanter, below that, and rolling towards your knee, nice and steady. And coming right back up. If it's too intense with your feet, uh, both feet straight, bring that top foot down on the ground. This should be somewhat of a feeling good thing, not completely painful. It's also very painful. You could really look at your roller. It might be a roller that's too, too firm for you. They have all different variations. So if you have any questions, please, happy to answer any questions. Just post it in the comments. And then angle that top hip ever so slightly forward. I'm putting that foot down and kind of go on the corner of your quad and your thigh. And of course, keep breathing. Come back to the side. I'm gonna bring that roller just right where my hip and my leg come together and then roll my top hip forward and then back and forward. I feel very lucky. This is not cranky for me right now. This usually is my cranky side, so. I guess I got that going for me. If it hurts for you, I'm sorry. At least you're here, you're doing it. You're treating it well. And again, stay there if you need to, if you find a spot and go up and down a little bit as needed. Good. All right, and come off of there. I'm gonna turn my rig around here and face you again. I'm gonna go on my left side and I'm gonna put the roller right next to me like it's gonna be like a body pillow. I'm gonna stay on my elbow, lift it up nice and high. Bottom leg is straight and my top leg is gonna be bent and I'm gonna put it right on the roller. And I want you to use the, the lift of your, and the, get a little purchase, push on the, your leg as you roll it up towards your inner thigh and bring it right back in. And do what works for you. Use the pressure that's appropriate. You get to be the boss of that. And if you wanna play with the angle, you can lift that foot up a little bit. Ooh, there's a spot right there for me. Ooh. You can play with straightening your leg. Again, see what works for you and your body. I'm gonna do a combo of knee bent and a little bit internally rotated. Because that seems to be making it a difference or finding a spot that really makes me wanna cross my eyes a little bit. One more time. And coming all the way up, I'm just gonna flip myself right over. I'm gonna be on my right side. That left leg is out straight. 
excuse me, my right leg is out straight, left leg is bent, and then rolling inside that leg. And again, play with that rotation. See if it's, you need to lift that foot up a little bit, straighten it, getting all the way to that inner thigh, releasing all those muscles that might be yanking at your knee, whatever direction that might be getting yanked at. If your knees hurt, it might take a little bit, a little work. This isn't gonna be a be all end all instant fix. But you know, stick with this, keep doing it here and there and you'll notice a difference. Just have to really realize sooner or later that stretching and strengthening is, and rolling is just as important as, you know, the hardcore working out, whether it's aerobic or strength training, playing games. Got to take a little time, balance it out with something good for your body. Not that that stuff's not good for your body, but if you're just beating your body up, it's going to feel like it. All right, and sitting all the way up, and just because we're here, and it always feels good, put that roller back perpendicular to your mat and behind your back, and just lean back. Interlace your hands behind your head, pick your hips up, and roll that roller all the way up towards your head and neck. And just enjoy that. Stay looking up to the ceiling. Let yourself be heavy on that roller. Oh, and you can lean over to the right and the left a little bit. Sometimes you get a few cracks out of here. It's like free chiropractic, all in a YouTube video and a workout. Come through to the left side a little bit. Taking your time. There were some little crack, crackly pops right there for me. All right, from here you were essentially done. I'm just gonna continue rolling on my back a little bit, one side and another. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment for me. Or if you have a comment, leave a comment for me. How about that? And I hope that you can utilize this video, keep your knees happy. And like I said, you might have to do it a few times, make a little pattern of it, add it into your rhythm, whatever else it is you're doing. I promise your body will benefit. Alrighty. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.